parts have been oiled and then rubbed down, we can go ahead and glue these up. That is just a beautiful looking walnut right there. Of course, I, I love wood anyway, so I guess I would think it was beautiful. But Anyways, now we can start gluing these up. And what I'm going to do is I'll glue up the back and then the front, and I'll get those pegged, and then we will glue side to side. I've gone ahead and I've marked all these rails to make sure that I get the legs and the rails in the right spot. Because each one of these joints has been hand fitted, uh, it might make quite a difference to where each one goes. Since this is going to be upholstered right in this area, there's really no need to get this super fine. It's just going to be all underneath the fabric. So that right there is fine. I'll just go through and I'll peg the rest and then we can move on to the side to side pieces. Well, there we have the four corners all glued up, the back and the side structures in place. Uh, the front and the back are pegged. I cannot peg side to side until I get those clamps out of the way. So we'll let that set up for 24 hours and I'll come back and we'll drill and put some pegs in there and, and we'll continue on assembling.
pieces, side rails here and the crest rail. Uh, this bottom piece here is called a pull, a pull through. That really isn't any uh, structural support to the frame. This is mostly for a pull string and a way to attach the webbing and to pull the different layers of fabric through. So what I'll do is glue these up, uh, put them in the clamps, and then we'll peg these the same way as we peg the, each corner on the base of the chair. Once I have the backrest assembled, I can now test fit the backrest onto the chair base. Uh, at this point, I have to make sure that my arm supports uh, are cut at the proper angles and that they're the proper length. Here you can see I've gone ahead and gotten the wings mocked up. Wings are uh, probably about the most difficult part of these wing chairs. A lot of curves to them. I like to uh, I like to put some shape into my wings other than just you know making them square. Um, I'm going to do pretty much the same thing on these wings that I did on the arm fronts, in that I'm going to leave them square. Um, on the upper edge. I'll try and focus in on that so you can see it. That spot right there. I'm going to leave this square and I'll, I'll glue this joint and I'll get the, this joint ready. We're just going to do a dowel joint on the back and uh, once this is dried up, I'll take these clamps off and then I'll shape that on a bandsaw. Down on the bottom of the wing, where it mounts to the arm frame, 
I've got like a saddle joint here. Is that uh, it re this part of the wing rests on the top of the iron frame, and it also comes down over the side. And that side area is going to give me a lot of good gluing surface. So that's really really helps those wings. Once the glue is set up on the wings, I've removed the clamps. Well, there we are. Um, all we need to do now is put a couple more coats of oil on the legs, and this chair is ready to be upholstered. If any of you are interested in how uh, we upholster our wing chairs, you can always check out my series, How to Upholster a Wing Chair. Uh, it's on my YouTube channel, along with this video and many others. 
Uh, I will do a thorough description during that video series on what is actually involved in upholstering a piece of furniture. Uh, this particular chair here, I would just like to say that this is a, a good representation of how I build my chairs. I uh, use one and a quarter inch thick soft maple for the frames. All the exposed wood, like uh, in this case we have a walnut, it is done with the actual wood of the customer's choice. I prefer to use real wood instead of staining. Um, as you saw in the video, uh, all the structural joints are pegged, mortise and tendon. Uh, finish is a hand rub, wax and oil finish, and we sign and date all of our pieces. So I hope you enjoyed this series. And like I said, if you are interested in how to upholster this, please check out our series, How to Upholster a Wing Chair.